It's 2022, we're fairly deep into the 21st century now and game discs are completely extinct, right? Well actually no, some game fans still cherish physical editions of games and are willing to pay a premium for collector's editions of their favourite franchises. And we all know the famous saying, there's three things in life, death, taxes and game publishers looking to milk as much money out of you as possible. Occasionally, collector's editions of popular racing games contain exclusive goodies, from model cars to art books and even actual real cars. We're not even joking, this car is real. I'm Mark from Racing Games and today I'm going to tell you all about the 7 most expensive racing game collector's editions. Now I know it might be tempting, but keep the wallet away for this one as things are about to get pricey. For the latest instalment of the Need for Speed franchise, so far at least, EA released a special collector's edition of Need for Speed Heat. While most of the extra items were nothing special, consisting of a notepad, stickers and magnets, the highlight was a 1-43 to die-cast scale model of the Polestar 1, the game's hero car. Sold exclusively at game, the Need for Speed Heat collector's edition retailed for £99.99. .99. Sounds somewhat reasonable, right? Well no, as it turns out it didn't even include a copy of the game, instead it was packaged with an empty steelbook case, so you still had to buy the game separately. It's hard to argue you were getting value for money, but this is the cheapest item on today's list. For hardcore MotoGP enthusiasts, Milestone released a special collector's edition of MotoGP 13 for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Limited to 1,500 copies in Italy and Spain, the MotoGP 13 Collector's Edition included a copy of the game and a bonus making of DVD. It all sounds pretty cool, but wait, there's more! MotoGP 13 Collector's Edition's party piece was a 27cm stainless steel replica of the MotoGP World Championship trophy, so you could fantasise about being a MotoGP World Champion. It was a novelty collector's item that pushed the price up to €149.99, around £127 at current exchange rates. So now not only could you play the role of your favourite biker on track, but you could also recreate their celebration on the podium too with your very own trophy. Or maybe that's just me. <coughs> anyway, moving on. So this entry has history. A collector's edition of Forza Motorsport 2 came with special packaging and a 156 page book with driving techniques and a list of cars. Following that, the Forza Motorsport 3 collector's edition included a custom case, a 2GB USB, keyring and digital extras, while the Forza Motorsport 4 collector's edition featured a 96 page book showcasing the cars. Sharp eyed viewers might notice a small escalation from game to game here, so Forza Motorsport 5 had to have something pretty special right? Oh yeah! For the series debut on Xbox One, Turn 10 went the extra mile with the Forza Motorsport 5 Paddock Edition. Limited to 3,000 units and costing $120 in the US, it was significantly more expensive than previous Forza Collector's Editions. So what did you get for your $120? The Paddock Edition included a Forza Motorsport branded premium hoodie, steel water bottle, stem caps, keychain and sunglasses. What it didn't include however was a copy of the game. Yes, really. A limited edition version of the game was also available for an extra $80, bringing the total to $200, around £160 at current exchange rates. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to spot a bit of a trend here. If you ever wanted to channel your inner Ken Block, this Dirt 3 Collector's Edition was for you. Sold exclusively in North America at GameStop and Amazon for a whopping $300, around £240 at the time of recording, the Dirt 3 Collector's Edition was bundled with a radio controlled car based on Ken Block's Ford Fiesta Jim Gymkhana. $300 may seem steep for a racing game and a model car, but this wasn't just any tacky old toy car. Ken Block's Fiesta was made by Traxxas, a company that specialises in radio controlled cars with high quality construction and components. As such, the RC Fiesta featured a full-time all-wheel drive system and F1 inspired suspension with shocks progressive springs, and since the RC car normally retailed for $300, you were technically getting Dirt 3 for free. Not a bad deal to be fair, plus you wouldn't be losing this RC car down the back of the sofa anytime soon. Before we move on, have you subscribed to Racing Games yet? Just one click and you're on the Racing Games grid. Oh, and hit that notification bell too so you never miss an upload. 
All right, on with the video. Now we all like Gran Turismo and we all like shoes, so why not smash them together? As one of the most popular racing franchises of all time, there have been numerous Gran Turismo collector's editions over the years. Both GT5 and GT Sport received the collector's edition treatment with die-cast model cars and chunky coffee table books. One of the rarest and most expensive Gran Turismo collector's editions is the Gran Turismo 4 Nike Limited Edition. In 2004, Polyphony Digital teamed up with Nike to design a fictional car known as the Nike One 2022 that was hidden in Gran Turismo 4. This partnership also spawned the Gran Turismo 4 Nike Limited Edition. Limited to 1,000 copies and sold exclusively in Japan, the Nike edition came with a copy of Gran Turismo 4 featuring exclusive artwork along with Gran Turismo 4 branded Nike sneakers and a t-shirt packed inside an aluminium collector's case. At the time, the Nike edition cost 32,000 yen, around 200 pounds at current exchange rates. Due to its rarity, its value has soared since then. At the time of recording, there's an eBay listing for $630 or 503 pounds if you must own every piece of Gran Turismo merchandise. You will be bidding against me though, so all I'm saying is good luck. In 2017, Project Cars 2 launched with four editions, Standard, Limited, Collectors and Ultra. Featuring a steelbook, art book and a 1 in 43 scale model of the McLaren 720S, among other extras, the collector's edition was pricey, with a £119.99 price. This is not the entry on our list though, as the Ultra Edition cost more than a games console at the time. Limited to only 1,000 copies, the Ultra Edition included all the contents from the collector's edition, but the 1 in 43 scale model was replaced with a higher quality 1 in 12 resin model of the McLaren 720S. It also came with a signed poster, an individually numbered snapback cap, and a McLaren sketchbook detailing the design and development of the McLaren 720S, the successor to the McLaren 650S. All this could be yours for a whopping £429.99. While the collector's edition is relatively affordable with used copies selling for around £70, the Ultra edition is harder to find, but eBay listings occasionally pop up for between £300 and £500. Now before I give you the number one entry on our list today, I do want to give you some honourable mentions. First up is the Toyota Yaris GR Sport Gran Turismo 7 edition. Costing a staggering €23,000, this edition, exclusive to Spain, saw Polyphony collaborate with Toyota to sell the Toyota Yaris GR Sport Gran Turismo 7 edition. So yeah, you're technically buying a car on this one. Limited to only 100 units, the Gran Turismo 7 edition is based on the Toyota Yaris GR Sport Electric Hybrid, distinguished with Gran Turismo badging on the front wings, a personalised key fob and a nameplate. As a bonus, buyers also received a copy of Gran Turismo 7 and a PlayStation 5 console. At the time, this was probably the easiest way to get a PlayStation 5. While pricing was never confirmed, the regular Toyota Yaris GR Sport retailed for €23,000. Now our second honourable mention would have been the most expensive item on this list, but we're discounting it on the basis that it's technically not a racing game per se. Driving is integral to the gameplay in Saints Row 4, and there's a ludicrously expensive version of the game that came with an actual supercar. Costing a cool $1 million, if you had more money than cents, the Saints Row 4 Super Dangerous Wad Wad Edition included a Lamborghini Gallardo and a Toyota Prius with one year's insurance. Also included was a week-long stay for two at the Jefferson Hotel in Washington DC, a hostage rescue experience, some plastic surgery just in case too many runs in your convertible had spoiled that million dollar smile, and a Virgin Galactic space flight. While it was a marketing stunt that poked fun at overpriced collector's editions, it was listed for sale at Game UK, although we're not actually sure if anyone bought it. If someone did, I'd love to have a quick chat with them about some magic beans I'm looking to sell. So Saints Row 4 didn't quite qualify for this list, but Grid 2 definitely does. Since the original race driver grid rolled off the assembly line, the grid series has been largely underlooked. For Grid 2, Codemasters pulled out all the stops and released a collector's edition so eye-wateringly expensive, it's earned a Guinness World Record for most expensive video game commercially available for special editions. Presenting the Grid 2 BAC Mono Edition, which retailed for, wait for it, £125,000. Yep, a cool eighth of a million. You can actually buy a house for that. 
Not only did this ridiculously expensive edition include a copy of the game and a PlayStation 3 to play it on, but it also came with an actual 170mph BAC Mono supercar with an exclusive Grid 2 livery and customised to the owner's unique specification. The lucky owner would also receive a factory tour at BAC along with a made-to-measure racing suit, boots and gloves. Before you disregard the Grid 2 BAC Mono Edition as a publicity stunt, someone actually bought this. Despite the astronomical price tag, in 2015 it was sold to DJ Joel Thomas Zimmerman, better known to you and I as Dead Mouse. So that's our list. Before I wrap things up, I do want to give a quick shout out to our very own Martin Big for doing all of the legwork researching these collector's editions. Be sure to check out his article in the link below to read more about these incredible collector's editions. Also, be sure to let us know down below of any other expensive collector's editions, as we'd love to come back for a part 2 on this subject. For now though, thanks for watching. I've been Mark from Racing Games, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and now I'm off to work on my pitch to sell those magic beans. At this rate, I can get a PS5, several awesome racing games, and even a new pair of shoes. Not bad for a day's work.